Hi everyone, Adam Steele here, and as you can see it's a bit of a mess in here because I'm about to go off on tour again with Monuments, but before I do, Slate Digital have just dropped another new small addition to the Virtual Mix Rack, and it's one that I'm probably going to use all the time. It's a de but one that I can drop in Virtual Mix Rack, and it's based on one of my favourite de of all time. Let's check it out. But before we do, let's just mention that this video is in collaboration with Produce Like a Pro. Uh, those guys are giving away one of three, three copies of the Virtual Mix Rack system, the Slate Digital system, which the link is in the description below with 12 month all access passes to the Slate Digital stuff in the link below. Get clicking that, get through to Produce Like a Pro, sign up and have a look. So this is a project I was working on recently for a video that I did for Audience for their ID44. And so the main vocal has a few plugins on, but the ones we're looking at, it goes into a tape machine and then it goes straight through to a very busy looking virtual mix rack. As you can see, I really rely on virtual mix rack stuff and it's pretty much full now. So the tape plugin is separate, but then I've got a gate the new ds which is this FGDS, uh, then a, a channel strip, then a distressor, uh, an LA-2A, an 1176, each one of these doing tiny little amounts, uh, an EVQ, then revival. And what I've decided to do here is I did have uh, the Soothe plugin doing DSing and general kind of softening of the vocal, but that's absolute overkill and had to go after all this processing because virtual mix rack uh, means that I can drop this de in wherever I like. And I like to put de very early on in the signal chain because I like it when they uh, take the S's out before compressors because then the compressors don't saturate the S's and emphasize them further and then have to be kind of neutered. If that's not even in the signal to begin with, then they tend to play nicer depending on the circuit and the compressor. So that's how I like to do it. And this is based on the 902 uh, ds which is a, a DBX staple. It's a, an old fan favorite. Um, I've seen these in most studios that I've been in uh, over the years. They're just kind of there. And so I've used it once on the main vocal here and once on the backing vocals. And they are super simple to use. Uh, the Slate All Access Pass also still comes with the Aosis de which is incredibly powerful, but is sometimes overkill. It's so powerful that it can take a while to get your head around it. And a lot of people just want a de that you drop in and you kind of go. And this has a few knobs and that's it. So the range, you pull it up from zero until it's usually kind of in this normal range. Uh, you pick the frequency and you can listen to it to make sure you're finding the right nasty frequency depending on the vocal. You can choose to take out only high frequencies or the whole thing. And then you can mix balance it and change the output level if it's really hitting it. And that's it. So let's have a listen to this. There we go. So quite a vintage kind of sound on this, uh, meaning that I didn't need to use loads of DSing. Let's just uh, solo that. You can hear there's a tape slap delay on it as well. Burden within reason. Which I'm going to turn off. Burden within reason. Becomes a burden born of all in one. And nobody, nobody knows. Let the... And so if I listen to this de let's turn the range up. There you 
There we go. Don't carry it all. Don't carry it all. So I turned the range up really high so I could hear exactly where it was grabbing the essing and now I can back that down to a, a sane level. Burden within reason. And if it was a bright vocal, like let's say a really poppy vocal or a female vocal, and I wanted to kind of iron out the high end a little bit without making the entire level dip, that's where I would tick HF only. Burden within reason becomes a burden born of all in one. And nobody, nobody knows. Let the yoke fall from our shoulders. See, on my vocal there, it's making it sound a little bit stuffy and muffly. But what I could do with that is go a little bit more aggressive with the DSing. And then afterwards, I do have fresh air, which I could really just crank to compensate. Burden within reason. But that doesn't have a nastiness. Becomes a burden born of all in one. And nobody, nobody knows. Let the yoke fall from our shoulders. Don't carry it all, don't carry it all. We are all our hands in holders. You can see that's really hitting 6 dB or more of DSing now, and it's still not overly strident because the uh, fresh air is kind of pulling that back a little bit. In context. Burden within reason Becomes a burden born of all in one And nobody, nobody knows Let the yoke fall from our shoulders So I can definitely hear it's taking a little too much out on the top there. Burden within reason There we go. Becomes a burden born There we go. And you are probably going to see this on pretty much all of my mixes going forward. So let's look at the backing vocals here. So that's on there as well. Same kind of range, 4K-ish. Uh, the backing vocals are actually a pair fed into a sim to, into one. So let's just see when they all kick in. Yeah, so the towers towards the trees uh, uh, beforehand had a little bit too much. There was too strident on that ta ta ta, and now it's controlled. And because it's a very simple layout, unlike some of the more advanced DSs, if I hear something and I find it is too much, I can go back in and go to the range, back it off a little bit. If it's not the right frequency range, find the right one, and that's very very quick and quick can sometimes beat advanced because yeah um i know there are producers who like to run their ds's afterwards but again quick 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 i can go let's try here no let's try here yes uh, the virtual mix rack thing makes this so fast to work with i think that's my favorite thing about the slate plugins and um, are there other plugins that sound good of course there are um, Plugin Alliance do something very, very similar, and it sounds very similar. It sounds good, but the versatility of me being able to just drop that in exactly where I need it in my chain without breaking uh, workflow, that's the killer for me. That's the really interesting thing. So, yeah, um, thanks to Slate for producing this. It's no extra cost if you're already using the All Access bundle, uh, which I do. It's $15 a month then yeah, you now have the 902 DSA as well as the Aosis DSA. So um, yeah, check that out. Thanks everybody for watching. Thanks again to Produce Like a Pro. Click the link in the description if you want to win one of three 12 month all access passes in that link in the description. Go through to the Produce Like a Pro blog and check that out and check their video out too. Thanks everybody for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.